And kids, you all have a gift, but that isn't enough. Let me tell you a story. I remember when I played for the Indians. My mother wanted me to become a priest until she saw me play. Then she begged me to become a priest. And the Indians said I was so valuable, they were scared to have me fly on the team plane, so they'd make me drive to all the away games. Hey, where'd you get that bag? I made it from a tree. So anyway, the manager comes into the clubhouse and throws a chair when he finds out that I hadn't been traded. I said, hey, Doc. <laughs> That is fantastic. Don't let that fool you. Jimmy played minor league baseball, so he's kind of making fun of himself mm -hmm. right there. Mr. Leon Bibb, another Cleveland legend, joins us right now. And Leon, I know you were here on day one when Jimmy got here back in 1985. So when this, uh, as we described it earlier, yeah. a curly-haired 28, 29-year-old yeah. walked in here, what'd you think? He walked in and he was filled with spice and vinegar. I mean, <laughs> he, he was ready to go. He was ready to do his, do his sports cast. And uh, what, what intrigued me was I never saw him write many things down. He, uh -huh. always, he had a blank piece of paper and he'd take a couple of notes on it, but then we'd get out on the news set here. And when he did sports, I mean, he just rattled it off just like that. Boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. It was yeah. fun to watch him. You two started on the weekends together, We right? started on weekends together. Then we later we got promoted to, to Monday through Friday. There I am there in the middle with Bob McGriot on the left and uh, Steve Brown on the right, Bob Anchor, and Steve Brown was a meteorologist, and Jenny, Jimmy and I. I was doing news and Jimmy was doing sports. Yeah, uh, you two became very close uh, over the years. What was your relationship like? Well, we had a wonderful relationship, I tell you. You know, he had that thing about baseball at the beginning. I saw him play baseball. He played, well, softball. He played for the company softball team. Okay. We had a media league where we played the other TV stations <laughs> and the plain dealer and, and city halls. And Jimmy sometimes played center field on the softball team. And I was at third base. Mm -hmm. I had Al Roker behind the catching All for right. us. I mean, <laughs> between Roker and, and, and Donovan, my, we had a lot going. So he, he was wonderful in, in, in that regard. As you saw him grow, become the voice of the Browns yeah. and become this wow. Cleveland icon, it sounds like none of that surprised you at all. Not, not at all. This was a guy who had a God-given talent. He could look at that play on the field and he could describe it just as it was happening like nobody else and he would he would find a way to say it in a way and hook you in mm -hmm. into whatever he was saying if you're listening on the radio he hooked you in I to the game and, and made you feel about sports. what do you want like people to know about sports. him Leon as someone who knew him for so long what do you want folks to know about him that perhaps they don't know he was a loving man. He was a loving man, and he was, as you saw him, see him on the air, as you hear him on the radio, he was the same kind of guy in the newsroom. And uh, I, I just, just used to love, just watch him talk about sports over in the sports area. Mm -hmm. uh, you and I are, are sit over close to yes. where he is and hear those guys in sports talking. They, they, they'd give you the show before they came out here to do the show. Mm -hmm. and, but, but he knew sports and was loving. And... Uh, I will. I one story I want to tell you. If you if you got time, we got about 15 seconds. We went fishing. We had a fishing derby, and we went out on the Channel Three fishing boat. Ah. And 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 Jimmy and I and two others were on the boat, and uh, we were catching walleye in this fishing derby. And we had a camera. We were making a promo out of this. The guys go fishing, and as I'm pulling in the walleye, Jimmy says, "You got to move your hips, Leon. You got to." <laughs> so I'm moving my hips like Elvis Presley singing, "You ain't nothing but a hound dog," and pulling in the wall. I, that's what made the air. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> the Channel 3 boat. Interesting. The Channel 3 boat. All right. Thank you, sir. Oh, we love it. Jimmy. Of course. We yeah. certainly do. Mm -hmm. Thanks again.